no idea how to move that thing. And I mean, not not at all. That I got nothing. another master placement and I'm pretty sure I found a suitable tree on a small island just north of the Rock of Gelato. Yeah, I'll go check it out. Hey, you were right. Never used a rubber tree for a mask before, but it worked just fine. Your ship is ready and better than ever. I think I'm good. See ya. Don't be a stranger. Now then. We have a battle to do. I wonder how rich Winslow is, by the way. Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. Straight on. Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Find you better route. mind your own business if you know what's good for you. Do I look like a guy who knows what's good for me? Tell me the ritual words, or you'll be sleeping with the f Hey, ugly. Arr. Hey, is that your face or... Oh, oh, I see. It is your face. <laughs> Awkward. Arr. Bang! You be wearing on me nerves, Sweetwood. Don't you ever get tired of losing? Oh, I don't intend on losing this time, kelp sucker. Give me your best shot. Boy. No! My ship! Rift! Uh, it's me, Garbush Freefoot. I need fire. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! That'll teach you to mess with Garbush. Oh no! The Merleader! Nicely done, Guybrush. Once underwater, I was easily able to escape. The Vecalians are in your debt. Now let's go home. Good show, sir. I knew you'd make a good captain from the moment I saw your beard. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Now, back to the Jerkbait Islands before Elaine's pox gets any worse. <clears throat> the map, sir. The what? I like it when you point on the map. Oh, very well, Mr. Winslow. Uh. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow. Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Skybrush Threepwood, on behalf of the Moor people of the Jerkbait Islands, I wish to extend our deepest thanks and gratification. Please approach. Uh, how about a reward instead? Guybrush! Indeed. I return to you in its former glorious state. <laughs> right parrot of oh. <laughs> It's me, Guybrush Threepwood. It's Why perfect! It? I know. Thanks. If there is anything else we can offer you, please feel free to ask. Your thanks is enough. <laughs> and, and your gold! Give us all your gold! <laughs> um, sorry, uh, something got stuck in my throat. <laughs> Actually, there is something. Actually, there is one thing. I sort of caused this pox, and I need a Sponja Grande to fix that. Especially now. What do you mean by that, you worthless piece of... <laughs> ooh, ooh. Excuse me. I have the artifact. Will you perform the ceremonial ritual to summon the legendary sea creatures to take me there? You, Guybrush, are the holder of the summoning items. You must be the one to use them. Come, give me the artifact. I will teach you the ritual words.
Take this and throw it with all your might into the ocean. Then speak these words. Oh, great legendary creatures of the sea! Come on, come on, boys. Get the ball. You want the ball? Ha, ha, ha. You want the ball? Come get it. Really? Those are the ceremonial ritual words? So it has been written. When you are ready, they will lead your ship to where you need to be. Again, thank you, Guybrush Threepwood. And good luck in your journey. I have no words. Well, that's that. Now, come on, Elaine. Let's get that sponge and go home. Wait. I just need to check up on the chuck and those monkeys. You go ahead and summon the creatures. I'll meet you at your ship in just a moment. <sighs> I'm starting to think LeChuck was less of a nuisance when he was an evil zombie demon. Indeed. <sighs> well, I'm pretty sure that can be fixed. Just in just a moment. Oh, right. goes nothing. Here, boys, come and get it. Oh, shoot. What the? F Whoa. Creepy. Captain Threepwood. Ah. I see the ocean beasties have been summoned. Are we ready to go, then? Maybe. Just a few more minutes, Mr. Winslow. I'm still waiting for Elaine and stupid LeChuck to get here. Something about monkeys or pants, I don't know. Guybrush? Elaine, there you are. Come on, let's go. LeChuck, been great seeing you again. Hope the human thing works out for you. I got a wife to go home and snuggle with. Later. Guybrush, I'm not coming with you. What? It's these monkeys. Well, I'm going to need help getting these poor little guys back to their homes. You go and get us for your grande. You don't need me for that. Besides, I really think I should keep an eye on the Chuck. Trust me, sweetie. Okay. Um, don't worry, boy. I'll take good care of her while you're gone. Yeah, I'm sure. Lane, I'll be back for you in the blink of a squid's eye. Be careful, dear. And don't put your lips on anything. Mr. Winslow, follow those sea creatures. Um, the map. Again with the map? I like the map. <laughs> I thought we agreed. You're making us look bad. Just go. All right, all right, I'm going. To Esponja Grande. <laughs> How can I point from the map where we are supposed to go if I don't know where they are leading us, Winslow? Are we almost there, Mr. Winslow? I'm not sure, Captain Threepwood. I'm just following the beasties. I have no idea where they're going. And to be honest, I'm not sure they do either. We'll be fine, Mr. Winslow. Just stay on course. Ah, this is the sweet pirate life. Out in the deep blue with your best ship and crew searching for the world's rarest treasures, which just happens to be a giant voodoo-sucking sea sponge in this case. It makes you wonder why anyone would consider any other life. Am I right, Mr. Winslow? Mr. Winslow? You again? Miss me? <sighs> Not really. Turns out the Marquis isn't satisfied with just your hand. He wants the complete package. So I'm taking over this ship and taking you back to Flotsam Island. Try anything funny, and the short one gets it. Huh. Why don't you give this up? Join me instead. We can sail together, see the world, just you and me. Looting and pillaging in every harbor, it could be just like you always dreamed. As wonderful as that sounds, Guybrush, I do have a job to do. Besides, you're already married to Elaine. Yeah, but she never lets me do any looting or pillaging either. Go ahead, run him through. I don't think you have the guts. Why must you tempt her, sir? Don't worry, she won't do it. She's only got orders to bring me in. Killing you wouldn't bring her any profit. He's right, I'm afraid. It's part of the Pirate Hunter's Code. 
Don't kill anyone you aren't getting paid to. So, ha! I'll just kill you, Guybrush. And you think the Marquis will pay you for bringing in my lifeless corpse? Believe me, this dead body is totally worthless. Uh, Captain, something's happening to the sea creatures. You don't have the skills or the wit to defeat Guybrush Threepwood. I don't need wit to carve a bloody hole in your chest. You need me alive. See, that wasn't witty at all. Um. I don't believe it. Well, you better believe it, sister. Wait, believe what? What? Um. What the? Leviathan? How did... Where did that thing even come from? Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed the chapter 2 of Tales of the Monkey Island. The siege of that place. Uh, and I'll see you real damn soon with the uh, chapter 3. Dragon out! <laughs>